here in front of me today, we have a 12 volt, 100 amp power battery from a brand called Lee Time. Now this is their group 24 size battery. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the BMS. So I did a little bit of a BMS test where I was basically filming my process of running a few of my cooking appliances. I tested out a coffee machine. I tested out an induction stove. I tested out a toaster. And I basically just wanted to show you the practicality. Once you have an inverter, what you can run with one of these 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries from Lee Time. Also, I did a battery capacity test and I ran that overnight to basically find out what the actual capacity, the true capacity of this battery. And there are other batteries that I have done reviews on. I've done a review already on the Lee Time Mini, and I've also done a review on their 12 volt, 100 amp hour self-heating Group 31 sized battery. But today we'll be focusing on their Group 24 sized battery. What are some of the pros and cons of using a battery like this why would you want to use it why would i get one we'll also be having a look later on at their 60 amp mppt charge controller which i got from lee time as well so definitely stay tuned for that video so personally for a bit of context i live in an off-grid cabin in the woods so i rely on having solar and that power coming from my solar panels goes through my charge controller then into my batteries and then from the batteries i can either use a dc controller box it's a hub that essentially allows you to connect up all sorts of different DC appliances. You can run anything from the car socket. You can run anything from a DC barrel plug. You can also run USBs, USB-C, and it's basically just direct current. So that's what the DC controller box is. And I actually have done a full review on that in case anybody's interested in that, explaining what it is, how it works. But I also wanted to demonstrate that you can use these batteries, these 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. You can actually also use them with inverters. So... I have two different inverters and I'm basically going to use my 2000 watt inverter to demonstrate the capabilities of what you can do practically with one of these batteries. And so far I've noticed that I'm actually getting consistent numbers out of the battery capacity tests from lead time. So that's a really good thing to see. Definitely watch through to the end and you'll see where I talk about the battery capacity test. So one of the big plus sides when you're using this Group 24 sized battery is that it's actually pretty small. I'm actually quite amazed how small it is. I'm fortunate enough to actually own one of the mini batteries, which is also from Lee Time. But actually, their dimensions are very similar. It's just that the Group 24 is a little bit wider. Now, one of the reasons why these two batteries have a slightly different size, but their BMSs are almost the same, is because the Mini is using pouch cell technology and the Group 24 size is using traditional prismatic cells. One of the big plus sides of pouch cells is they're a little bit lighter than prismatic cells, but the prismatic cells, I would say, are more robust. And depending on what you're looking for, you might want to go with one versus the other. However, their performances are going to be nearly identical because they're both using almost the same chemistry of lithium ion phosphate. The Mini, I believe, is 8.6 kilos and the Group 24 is 9.5 kilos in weight. And I'll just list on screen the different sizes. And in pounds, I believe that's about 21 pounds for the Group 24 size. So when it came to me testing out the BMS, I thought that it would be more fun to basically do a cooking demonstration because in my previous videos, I've already done BMS tests where I test out these lithium ion phosphate batteries to their maximum level. So I hooked up my 12 volt, 100 amp power group 24 size battery with one of my 2000 watt inverters. I individually ran different appliances that I used. So I demonstrated using a toaster to make some toast. It was so good that I actually made the, the first batch I made actually burnt, which is quite funny. So you can see on screen how many amp hours that used. What you can do as a general rule of thumb is that if you see that your inverter is pulling about 700 watts, it's safe to assume that you're probably going to be pulling about 70 amps. I've actually got an amp clamp meter, which I got from AliExpress. I'll leave a link down below in case anybody's interested. Then for my next test, I then decided to use a bit more wattage. So I cooked a couple of eggs. And as you can see, I was using about 1,100 watts and just ignore what the induction stove shows on screen on like how much wattage it uses. It's not, it's a little bit strange on how much wattage it actually uses. The induction stove is actually much more simpler than you might think. It just basically cycles on and off 
more or less depending on which wattage setting you go for. So in case anybody's interested in the numbers, I was reading 94 amps coming out of the battery to the inverter and then from the inverter to the induction stove, I was getting about 1,100 watts, I would say. So it worked really well for cooking some eggs and the eggs actually cooked really quickly. Yeah, I needed to actually turn it down because it was cooking them too fast. And then for my final test, I thought it'd be interesting to run a coffee machine. So what we have is a, an espresso machine. It's the Krups version, I believe. And just keep in mind, I do recommend trying to use reusable capsules instead of just buying those throwaway ones, which are really bad for the environment. Coffee machines actually use, especially the ones like this, use an incredibly low amount of power. So they might surge, as you can see on the amp clamp meter. When they're heating up the element inside, or the pipe inside, it basically heats it up briefly to a thousand watts. Then once it's heated up the element, it'll then push and force the water through the coffee capsule and then it will give you a nice tasting coffee. Several times when it's pushing the water through, it would spike up to about 100 amps, but it actually used way less power than I was expecting. And actually the surge rating can go up all the way to 280 amps for five seconds on this BMS, which is awesome. Now, a couple things to mention that you want to keep in mind with this 100 amp hour battery from Lee Time. This group 24 size battery that I've got from them, this one is the standard model. It doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities and it doesn't have a low temperature protection. However, I believe when you go to the international store and you have a look at the US one or in Australia, and you'll notice on the international stores that the Bluetooth model is available and also a low temperature protection version. Personally, in my experience, you don't really need to have low temperature protection but if you do live in a place where you experience very cold temperatures, let's say minus five during the day, then you might want to get low temperature protection. There is a slight difference between low temperature protection batteries and batteries that have self-heating pads inside. There is a slight difference and a nuance between the two of them. They function slightly differently, but they roughly serve the same goals. So when I did a battery capacity test on this 100 amp hour group 24 size battery, I was able to get over the rated capacity of this 100 amp hour battery. So literally they have stuck on the battery that the battery is rated at 1,280 watt hours. And personally in my battery capacity test when I used this A-Torch DL24 from AliExpress, you can have a look at that. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna do your own battery capacity tests. But when I did my battery capacity test, I got 1,300 watt hours out of the battery. You're, you're getting an extra two amp hours out of the battery, which is awesome. Now in terms of weight, this Group 24 size battery weighs 9.5 kilos. I even weighed it myself. I got almost the same weight. Also, you get a five-year warranty with the battery, which is pretty cool. I've noticed that their customer service has been very prompt when I've been emailing them. And in case you're interested, the affiliate links are there for your convenience, but also as a way to support the channel. You can use the coupon code the One Good Road to save yourself like five or six percent. For the next video, you can have a look at the 100 amp hour mini from Lee Time. I've already done a review on that. And if you are also interested, I have the self-heating battery from Lee Time. And in the future, we'll be doing a review on one of their MPPT charge controllers, which goes up to 60 amps. And I believe the voltage on that is also incredible. So I'm really looking forward to testing that out. So definitely stay subscribed for that. And I hope to see you in a future video.